Hello. Camera on. Recording. So, uh, as I was saying, I had pissed off the, the guy with the gun. And he says, well, my partner over there would like to uh, look through your vehicle. And I said, well, that's great. Um, he can see whatever he can see through the windows. If you, if you happen to have a warrant for a search, then, you know, I'll get out and, and you can go through the car. And he looked at me kind of funny. And he said, do you have any weapons? I said, no. And he said, then well, what's your problem? And I said, well, I said, look, I got a bunch of crap in the floorboards. I, don't, I, I know I'm going to have to clean it up if this guy starts digging through my shit. And he goes, well, that shouldn't be a problem. I was like, no, it's going to be a problem because I know how cops operate. And they don't have a problem making a mess out of your stuff when they search it because you have to clean it up. I said, and, and if he goes through all this stuff and just dumps it on the ground and then leaves, what do I do? If I don't clean it up, I can get cited for littering. If I, He's definitely not going to clean it up, and there's nothing I can do about that. It's like, I can't get this guy uh, cited for littering. Shit. And, and I said, no, if, if, the, if the guy wants to look through the windows, which is totally legal, it, it's, uh, I forget what they call it, but they can do the same thing with a drug dog. They call it a free air search. The dog, when they walk the dog around your car and sniff the air around your car, you don't own that air, and you don't own the ground the dog is on, so it's not private property. So they can, they can do that. And they can do the same thing with their eyes. They can look into the car, and anything they can see uh, is admissible which is why most people like to keep their glove boxes locked and things like that. They need, uh, generally they need warrants and consent to go into locked devices. So I said, you know, I don't really want the guy going through it. He's like, well, he just wants you to open the door. I said, I don't really care. I'm not opening that door um, unless I'm either being arrested or uh, you have a warrant or something like that because I, I just don't see the point. And the guy says, okay, well, then they both start looking off this way. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? And, and the guy's like, just hang out. I was like, all right, you know, whatever. And, and, and it, it had kind of calmed down. Well, you can see the landing lights of a large aircraft from pretty far away, even during the day. And they always, uh, you'll almost never see an airplane come in without its landing lights on. They both start looking off this way, and I couldn't figure out why, and then suddenly I see these two landing lights show up, and I was like, oh, cool, I wonder what's coming in. And it gets closer and closer and closer, and I noticed that it's a very light color, and I looked up at the guy, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And, and the guy just looks at me and goes, stop talking. Oh, okay. <laughs> he became very businesslike, very matter-of-fact. Well... Uh, about 30 seconds later, I realized it's fucking Air Force Two landing. And as it rolls by, I get this up-close personal view of the 757. And I, I kind of wanted to take a picture of it, but I wasn't going to reach for a damn thing. I'm, I've got a guy with gun on either side of me who are very uptight and anxious. I'm, I'm not going to piss them off. So I didn't say anything. And as the plane rolled by, it turns and goes back and parks on the far side where it had been. Now, that really threw me for a loop. And I looked up at the guy and I was like, all of a sudden this makes sense. I said, look, uh, the news said that Biden was already here. And the guy says, what do you mean? I said, two hours ago, the news station reported that he was on his way to give a speech. He was already in town. And the guy says, okay. I said, so when I came here, I went to the other side, and I didn't see Air Force Two. The cops that were over there didn't care about me driving through. The Marines on the ground didn't care about me rolling through the parking lot. I said, everything that all of the information I had told me Biden had already left. And the guy says, well, no. <laughs> Obviously he hasn't. I was like, no shit. 
obviously, uh, the news was wrong. I said, man, I never would have done half that shit if I would have known he was on his way in. I was like, holy crap. I wouldn't be here. I'm not going to sit that close to watch Air Force Two pull in. That's just asking for bad shit, you know? Go somewhere else. Hell, I'll just drive up and down the goddamn road. They, they aren't going to care about people on the road. Uh, I'll just drive up and down this bitch for 20 minutes. I don't care. So, <laughs> the guy kind of laughed. And I said, look, I, I get why you're doing what you're doing. It, it makes sense. I said, I, I had no idea. And had I known, I, I wouldn't be here. And he says, all right. He's like, what do you mean when you say you went to the other side? I said, dude, I went and drove through that parking lot with all the Marines over there. And uh, I talked to a couple of the cops, like no one gave two shits. And he goes, really? And he, he told his partner, and his partner's like, we're gonna have to go have a chat with them. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. They didn't give a fuck. And, and the guy's like, all right, well you have a nice day. I was like, you know what, you too. And uh, I left. So, it's, it's very easy to get yourself into trouble with a company or a group like the Secret Service. Uh, but they're not evil. You know, they're, they're assholes, but they're not completely evil. But it just made me laugh when I realized what happened. And I'll tell you, one of the best things you could do, one of the biggest mistakes I made was kind of losing it with the guy. I should have just kept answering his questions because... Obviously, something didn't add up, you know. I'm sitting there telling him I'm there to watch things leave before they've arrived. Now, he should have asked me why I got there so early, but that's beside the point. So, all that is to say... Well, basically what it comes down to is... Uh, just don't be an asshole, you know. You can get out of a lot of shit, really. And, and I, I was in much hotter water uh, than I thought I was. I Now, obviously, I knew that these two individuals were law enforcement. And they were not happy with me, but I didn't know why. And had I known that the, the Air Force Two wasn't here yet, uh, it would have been crystal clear why they were so uptight. So, yeah, you... Uh, yeah, pay attention. Probably added me, got me knocked up a, a notch or two on the list. I'm on, I, I gotta be on a couple like NSA watch lists and shit. Just have to be. Uh, I'll, I'll bet that garnered an entry because they checked my license and all that. It, it was odd. <laughs> Recording stopped. Goodbye.